Hey guys, Miss Saint Ellie here, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Symphonia. In the last episode, we arrived here at the remote island ranch, and now we have to go through this stupid warp maze. Yeah, we can change the colors of these warps and end up in other places, but, uh, oh boy, okay, uh, let me think. Let me think. Let's go up here, no. No, this isn't right. There's also a lot of treasure chests here. I want to go over to that pink warp down here. There. And yes! Lock two, disengage. So that's that we're, we're on the right track so far. Uh. Uh, okay. This is going to take some doing. Here we go. And okay, let's fight you. Of us. We have no choice. And a level up for rain! Okay, so from here we get saffron. Ooh, okay, that's that's interesting. Oh boy, I'm really I'm really not too happy about this right now because of how many branches there are. It can be really confusing and hard to keep track of where you're going. Um wait. Okay, we came from this one. But I do believe... No, nothing. So some of these don't actually even do anything. Um... Blue? No. Okay, that takes us up here. And we have another enemy. But we have an EX gem level 1! Nice! Uh, let's see what you are. I don't think we fought you yet. I don't care for no, we have not fought you! Wow, evil jelly and giant slug. I don't think you can encounter these too often. So this is pretty interesting that we're seeing them here. One, two, three, triple kick, and then rising dragon. Two, three, triple kick, and then crescent moon. I like how crescent moon looks a lot like Perseus, um infliction. That's pretty neat. Okay, so we got that. Uh, let me see. You are still not T-type. Okay, so we... Can I change this one? No, this one is unchangeable. Green. That takes us here, and we get... A Holy Cloak. Which, who can put that on? Genus, and... And Regal. I'm more inclined to put it on Regal right now. Oh, but it lowers his accuracy and evasion by quite a bit. But it's a big increase on his defense. Let's see, what about you? Oh, it just raises Genus' defense. Uh, maybe... Maybe I'll give it to Genus. I mean, defense is really nice on Regal, but it does hurt him in some way. Okay, come up here. Anything? Oh boy, now we're having a branch here. Which this takes us here. And we get a uh, Minazuki. I do believe that's Lloyd's? No, not, not Colette's. Lloyd's. That is not Lloyd's. I know it's someone's... Uh... Weapon? I thought it was. What is it? Oh, it's it's armor for for Sheena. I mean, I get. I guess it is a pretty Japanesey sounding name. So yeah, there you go. And then this one, Ex Gem level four, and another enemy for us. All right, with that out of the way, still not T type. Almost, <laughs> almost there. Uh, we have another branching path here. That leads nowhere. This probably leads up. Why wasn't this just naturally blue? That doesn't really make sense to me. Uh, we have another item here, a mithril axe. Which, haha, <laughs> I already know this is for Prisea. Uh, mithril axe, it only helps her. Wow. Oh, it looks really cool too, look at that. That is a pretty sweet looking axe. I- I would like to have that axe. Are you, are you charging at me through a wall, sir? Really? <laughs> he just like started charging me and he just GTFO'd. 
Uh, okay, so we're up here. I want to make sure that I get everything. Wait, what's up here? Uh, that is a dummy door. Come up here and we have... Lock three! Disengaged! I skipped the lock somewhere, somehow. Uh, maybe that's the door that gets unlocked, but for now it's a dummy door. Oh, uh, hello, fight. 50% output should be Oh, sea horror. Uh, what is this even weak to? I um, I just saw it and I legitimately got curious. Actually, wait. Uh, yeah, we have eight of these stupid things. Let's go for it. Uh, oh, it's actually weak against fire and electricity. Wow. Well, I mean, that's interesting. I'll work with it. I hate how Rising Dragon is so short range. Uh, okay, that, that triple kick was for the air. Two, three. And then Crescent Moon! Uh, sure, you use that Grand Cross on that enemy that's not there, Colette. Uh, Tenderloin for everyone. And with that, we get an EX Gem level 3! We're, we're getting up there. We're, we're doing pretty good. Uh, through... Actually, did that have anything in it? Or, actually, not in it, but ability to, you know, change. I guess not. Uh, red, green... Okay! Wow, that took me all the way up here. I do not need to be up here yet. So now I know where that is. And this takes me here to another treasure chest. A revive ring. We have like a couple of these so far, don't we? Pretty sure we do. Uh, and down here, this is the guy that was charging me through the wall. Uh, and Mithril Greaves, which is going to be great for Regal. Uh, Mithril Greaves. Only helps him. Awesome! We also get some defense out of it, too. That's great. Okay, let, let's fight you. Fight me! Okay, we did that. And he's finally starting to go towards T-Type. That took long enough. <laughs> that, that, that took quite a while. So we're, we're good there. Um, okay, I'm gonna go all the way up the stairs just to see what's back here. All the way up. I assume this will probably take us... Yeah, that takes us here. So we're, we're good on that. Actually, where does this blue take us? This probably takes us back to start. No, not quite back to start. But it gave us another treasure chest. Which had an EX gem level two. Okay, I can I can get behind that. We're we're doing pretty well. That does nothing. That does nothing. Oh, that's weird. It just we have to reset it for some reason. Okay, where does this take me? I see that up there. I want to know how I get up, how to get up there. Oh, this is back to start. Um. Uh. Okay. Now, now comes the hard task of trying to figure out how to get to the specific treasure chest that we're missing. That's going to be a trip. Um. Hello. Okay. I, I guess I can't go that way. Sure. Nope. Oh boy. Blue seems to connect to the most things. Okay. Red. Come on. I already did this. Okay, I can't go past that way. Green. Green does nothing. Blue. Red takes us here. Oh boy, this is the worst part. 
just figuring out which path branches in the way that you want. This is awful. Uh, okay. okay I want to go in that direction. Yes! Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, EX gem level 3. I believe that leaves us with one more item to find. Uh, and that gives us... Da -da 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 -da, lock 1 disengaged. We have done it. We've done the major thing that we needed to do, but unfortunately, <laughs> we still have one more treasure chest that we have not found yet. So I'm going to try to find it. Hopefully it does not take me too long. So we have red, green, and how, how about blue? Ooh, yes! Oh, dude, look at that. That's beautiful. We got that last treasure chest. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Now I just need to figure out a way to get back to the top. Um, that shouldn't be too hard considering we found our way there by accident like three different times. Or two different times. Three is close enough to two, right? I think we're actually there. Uh, it's three, right? This should... Nope, this takes me here. So I want to go back, I think... This is still a dummy door. I thought it might open a little bit later, but I guess not. Uh, okay, that's that. The lock is already disengaged, so I want to... No, not blue. Not red either, apparently. Not green either. Oh, wait! Yes! There we go. I had a feeling it was that one. Anyway, we have a character skit. Remote Island Human Ranch. This place is really complicated. It's more complex than any ranch we've been in. It seems Rodial is very cautious. Yeah, it sounded like he didn't trust his fellow Grand Cardinals or even Drassiel. There's no telling what we'll face if we stay here too long. Let's hurry. Well, I'll hurry as much as I can, but we need to organize our party. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and save, and I will see you guys in just a moment. So, uh, honestly, I didn't change the party at all. I changed a couple of things about them, like I switched Regal's EX skills back since he's actually T-type now. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that and see if he stays T-type. Hopefully he does. That's my, that's my wish anyway. But beyond that, not really much has changed. And the main reason for that is just that this is the party that I would like to see Smash Rodile's face in. Let's be honest. <laughs> Dude, there's there's honestly not much beyond that. Uh, all of them have text that they need to learn, so it's not hugely a huge deal that they're still in here. But I just really want to see these people in particular give him what for. Uh, except for Rain. Rain is just here because she can heal us while we're pounding his face in and stuff like that. So, with that being said, it's time to head through the door and confront Rodile. Except we have to go up this elevator first. Okay. <laughs> elevator works. And this is the longest elevator ever. There we go. Now it's time. Well, I see the failed Chosen and her traveling band of fools are still alive. You're as stubborn as cockroaches. You and Barley deceived me. Prisea, I'd have treated you so much better had you made me a Crucius Crystal in that little body of yours. Die! <laughs> now, now, settle down. Have a look at the projector. I've got a special underwater show for you. Stop the water now! It's too late! I know why you've come here. 
I'm sure you intend to shut down my mana cannon. But you won't succeed. I filled the corridor leading to the mana cannon with seawater. You're gonna kill all those people at the ranch just to stop us? Who cares about the lives of pathetic, inferior beings? The mana cannon will be completed once I get the Crucius crystal. With Thor's hammer in my possession, you Graciel and Crucius will beg for my mercy. Hmm, even that eyesore of a tower will fall before my cannon. What do you hope to accomplish by destroying the Tower of Salvation? <laughs> That's nothing you lower life forms need to concern yourselves with. The Crucius Crystal is finally mine! Now, let's see. I think I'll test its power first by equipping it on myself. New foes. This is Road Dial. Use a magic lens on him. 35,000 HP and strong against. Oh. Oh, uh, Prosea. How about, how about you, you turn off that devastation? Actually, oh, it's not ground elemented? What? Oh, it's destruction, okay. Uh, yeah, let's turn that off. Let's turn that off for now. Oh, I walked right into that. Uh, here we go. One, two. Swallow kick. Okay, Rodile is, oh. Yes, yeah, she got her infliction skill. That's good, that's good. Rodile hits pretty hard, obviously. You can tell by the giant sword on his freaking arm. And he casts that! Oh boy, wait, oh, that's bad, that's bad. Okay, that caught me off guard. Uh, yeah, remember when I said that that looks really, really painful when Genius could cast it? Well... It's even more painful when it's used against us. Uh, got that just in time. Uh, Rain, how about, how about a life bottle? Oh, I don't have many life bottles. That's great. Okay, I'm gonna back up. Uh, no, Rain, you are probably using resurrection. I don't want you to do that. Uh, one more item just to keep everyone alive. Also, there goes my good grade. Uh, give a bit of HP to everyone. Triple kick. Rising dragon, except not really. Uh, one, two. Over limit? Nope. I did not plan for this. Uh-oh. I don't know what we're gonna get. Did we get anything? No, I forgot to set all of my units in attack. And he's still in over limit anyway. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm hurting quite a bit. I will have faith in Rain, though. Okay, I will not have faith in Rain. Rain, how about tossing me, uh, tossing me, uh, lemon gel? Uh, how about one for Colette as well? Okay, he's out of over limit. Whoop. Okay, uh oh, Pase is hurting. She's gonna first aid, so I'm gonna hold off. Yep, there we go. Triple kick, rising dragon. Whoop. Uh oh. Uh, guarded, guarded, guarded. Did I? I didn't guard enough. Oh, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Uh, okay. So we need a couple more life bottles. Uh, what is, what is he, what HP is he up to now? Uh, 3,000! 3, 3,000! We're almost there. We are almost there. Uh, Saya? No, stop! I need to turn that off of rain! Just use energy tablets. Do it! One, two, triple kick. Rising dragon. Ready? And done! I cannot get my time back. Thanks, Lloyd. Thanks. 
here! Go! What's happening? My... my body! My body is disintegrating! For me, my, you trick me! But I won't die alone! I'm taking you all with me! No! He's activated the self-destruct system! Boto warned us not to destroy this place! Damn it! We have to stop it! Impossible. The only one among us who can handle this machinery is Rain. Most Tethiolans don't really study the details of Magi technology very much. Professor! I know, but I can't do this by myself. We'll take over from here. The rest of you, go and escape through the hatch over there. Boda, you're okay! There'll be plenty of time for chit-chat later. Leave now. You'll only get in our way. Okay. No, we've got to open that door. It's no use. Oh, it won't budge. Move. Boda did this on purpose. They knew the water was coming and locked it from the inside. Why would they do that? If the door opens, this area will be flooded as well. And as you can see, the ceiling is covered by a dome. There's nowhere for the water to escape. They did it... to save us? No! We have to do something! Damn it! Isn't there anything we can do? We've stopped the self-destruct system. Boda! Open the door! If we destroy the dome overhead! Our goal was to modify each branch's mana reactor in order to fire mana at the Great Seed. Now that we've finished reprogramming this control room, our mission is complete. We need you to get the message to you that we have succeeded. Tell him yourself! Open the door now! We pray for your success in regenerating the world. Please see to it that Martel is finally allowed her eternal sleep. For you and sake as well. No! Man. Everyone, behind you! They look like transport dragons. Their cages probably opened when the self-destruct system was activated. Look out. Here they come. Damn it! Get ready. And you thought the fights were over. Nope, not quite. I do believe that these are a little bit tougher than the ones that we fought before. Granted, I might be wrong. I don't remember how much HP they had before. Oh well. Uh, regardless, this isn't a terribly difficult fight. It's better if you can cook at the end of the last battle. Cough, cough. Lloyd, thanks a lot for failing that at the worst possible time. But yeah, just focus on one, and it should it should be over fairly soon. This guy already has like 85 HP left, so here we go. No, stop. There we go. Uh, okay, I'm taking quite a bit of damage, so I'm gonna just... I don't want to overdo it and use my lemon gel, so I'll just toss an apple gel. Like I said, these guys aren't too terribly difficult. Uh, okay, we're getting the nurse. 
Uh, here we go. Haha! <laughs> Using the rising dragon on dragons! Ha 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 ha! Okay, here we go, and... Um, please get out of my way. Please stop that. One, two, and done. I wonder what the enemy's name was. I like Poochie. No, dear, I was referring to the species. It's not as funny when it's not Sheena. There are too many of them. Damn, they're tough. If we lose, we'll never be able to pass on Boda's message. Mythos! What? What was that? Was that a summon spirit? Gina's ring! Everybody! That's Mythos' voice! What's Mythos doing here? Please, get on these reards! Let's worry about the how and why later. All right. Mythos! It's really you! But what was that attack just now? And how did you get a Riyar? I'm sorry. I was worried about all of you and I just couldn't stay behind. So I asked the Renegades to let me borrow a Riyar. But what was that powerful attack? That was ac actually... I don't know either. When I heard the flute, I tried my best to get inside. So I just started blasting the dome with fireballs. Then all of a sudden, a golden sparkling bird appeared and helped me. Golden sparkling bird? Could it be? Aska? It can't be. Why would a summon spirit... What do you mean? Do you think Genus called Aska when he played the flute? Mythos' flute? I wonder. We'll need to investigate the flute itself to find out the truth. But shouldn't you all rest first? Let's head back to Palma Costa. I must apologize to Neil. I left without telling him. All right. It's not like we'll figure anything out by dwelling about it here. Let's head back. Yeah. Thank you, Mythos. We owe you our lives. I didn't realize how amazing you are. Not, not at all. I'm so happy we're friends. Yes, me too. <laughs> 